the best way to stop your missus having a go at you if you order new animals online is get it delivered to your work address. Word of warning, confirm this with your boss because when your package arrives at your work and it says loose live insects, your boss tends to pull you in the office as a go at you. That's what happened here. So we're gonna be unboxing it, seeing what's inside it, and so on and so on and so on. But first, we've got that sorted. That's gonna get ready now. If you wanna see that, that's gonna be a big, huge bioactive leopard gecko build. And uh, I can't wait to get that all started and sorted and stuff like that. So if you wanna see that, consider subscribing. But let's get this box open. So firstly, this box, I ordered 100 medium dubia roaches to just add new blood into my colony. Build my colony up a bit. If it gets extremely big, I can sell a few, make a little bit of money on the side, that sort of thing. But adding new blood into your dubia roach colony is always a wise thing. I do it once every year. Uh, just if you interbreed your dubia roaches far too much, you start getting misformations within the dubia roaches. They don't last as long, so on and so on and so on. But I've got my dubia colony just here. Check it out. And I've simply just done it like that because this is loose live insects. Now I did email this company every time I'm ordering something to unbox on this channel. I'll always email the company and just say, look, this is what's happening. I'm unboxing it on camera. Um, so it's a bit of free advertising for them, but it also puts them on guard so they can sort of do their best to get the best product out and stuff like that. Uh, but this comes, you've heard me rec recommend this company mil millions of times before. Buzzardreptile.co.uk Facebook.com forward slash buzzardreptile. And um, he said... I'll put a few extra bits in there for you as a thank you for doing this sort of thing. He didn't have to because I still would have, I still bought it. I mean, yeah, full disclosure, I did buy this with my own money. It cost me 16 quid for 100 dubia roaches. And that's okay with me. I, I, I've always paid that much. But let's uh, go through. Because uh, normally, when I, last time I ordered 50, it just come in a little box like this. So I don't know what this is. And this is another little ploy as well because... Um, I ordered it, and then the, the night that it was in shipping, it caught, it went down to minus two degrees. And so, normally when you order dubia eggs, you can hear a bit of rustling and stuff like that. I can't really hear that with these, so I'm a bit um, dubious. That's why it's early in the morning I'm filming this, because uh, they have just arrived, and I want to get them out, and I want to get them on the heat, and get them warmed up a little bit. Why is that not unboxing very well? Let's try the other side. I'll tell you what, it's well packaged. I'll give them that. Ah, I just fell backwards. Huh. Right, so now, oh, I've got that piece there. Oh. <laughs> I know this is a bit different to normal sort of unboxings and stuff like that, but I'm trying to, it's, it's that. The live, loose insects that sort of worries me a bit. So while he's fanning around down there, messing around and messing around. If you want to learn how to breed dubia roaches or any other live food, if you want to see a ton of videos all to do with dubia roaches, how you can profit off them, anything like that, just click on that card that's going to be just over there. That'll take you through to a playlist and it'll show you everything you want to know. Let's get back to it. I'm going to do the little one first, just because that feels quite heavy. Can you see me a bit better, guys? Right. First one is this little thin one. I assume they do it thin because they can fit through letter boxes and it just makes it a little bit cheaper. But let's give it a quick go. Uh, right. I don't want to be too brutal. Normally I'm proper. I'm sort of. Ah, I can't do it with this one because if they are loose, well, yeah, we don't want them to be loose. All right, that side side open. Ah, yep. This is from Buzzard Reptile uh, in the UK. I recommend it as a, oh, ah, right, so this was must be the little thing that they said they were going to send me, so I'll get a better shots of it right now, Herbie Mix Live Food Gut Load, that's an absolutely, it looks totally different to my gut load, but I'm tempted to put this up against my own personal bug grub just to see which one pans out a bit better because this does look really good oh let me know in the comments section if you want to see this up against my personal gut load just to see if uh, one plays out better than the other oh thanks for, to the guys at 
Um, buzz of reptile for that. So this that must mean this box has got the roaches in. So it is sealed up really well, but to have loose roaches, that could scare anybody. Oopsie daisy. Right, that's that side done. Yeah, the colony's just collapsing on me. Huh. Uh, again, I don't want to just hack it away like normal. I need to get myself a really, a much better unboxing knife. Right, so I'll put that there for a second because I need to sort of build this up so that I've got somewhere to put them. I've got a bit of moisture sauce down this bottom corner, fresh moisture sauce, so that, because um, these, when you get any live food, through um, online, they tend to arrive, well, even if you get them from the shop as well, they tend to arrive a little bit dehydrated. Right. But um, but um, but oh, oh, there you go. So that's how it comes. They are totally um, <laughs> loose. Right, there's a better, better shot for the camera. Oh, the dubious now this is what I do when I'm ordering dubia roaches I order medium dubia roaches so that I can breed them and um, I can grow them and breed them I know how many instances the actual roaches have gone through and all that sort of whoa right So there we go. These are medium dubia roaches. The problem with medium dubia roaches, you can't really sex them at this size. So what I'll do, I'll just chuck them in, let them mature up, and then any males or any, if there's too many males, I'll just feed them off to the animals. But let's give it a tap. Well, that didn't work. Do you know what? I'm just going to leave that in there. Oh, look at that dude there. <laughs> He's just there chilling on the cardboard. Right, is there any more on the card? No. There we go. There is a hundred, if not a few more than a hundred to be fair. There's quite a lot there. There is a hundred dubia roaches, so I'm hoping they're going to acclimate to this sort of surroundings and mature up nicely. Get down to the bottom here to get some food and a bit of moisture, so I'll make it a bit easier for them. Actually, I'll do it like this. I'll do it like that. I move that. Cool. Now they can get down to the bottom, get some food, get some moisture. That's all I really wanted. Beautiful. So then we move on to this. This I assume is their bug grub, their sort of, their gut load. Well, it does say live food gut load. Now, let me know in the comments if you want me to put this up against mine and just see which one works. You all know the ingredients in mine. If you don't know how to make your own bug grub, I'll stick a card just up here, go over to that video and have a look. But in that is not a lot of ingredients at all, but it works and I've shown you it works. Um, this has got a lot more ingredients in it than mine. I'll just quickly read you through the ingredients. It's a nutritious blend designed to enhance the, uh, the nutritional value of your animal's live food. Sorry, my reading's a bit horrible. But ingredients, bee pollen, which is what I put in my last gut load. This is a different one. Got uh, bee pollen, uh, nettle, dandelion, mulberry, marigold, hibiscus, clover, fennel, Alpha is something I can't pronounce. Kelp, it's like a seaweed in it, kelp. Um, something else I can't pronounce. Sunflower, yeast, carrot, uh, paprika, and apple. So that's got a lot more sort of dried fruit and vegetable, leafy green sort of matter in it. So it does sound like that'd be quite good. But I'm thinking I'm gonna compare it to mine. Stick, I don't know, make a control, stick two tubs in the enclosure make them both the same temperature and all that sort of jargon and just sort of see which one goes first. I'll weigh them out and put them in the different parts and just 
see which ones the animals prefer, I guess. That'll be an interesting um, experiment. And I'm not holding hope up for mine. <laughs> but that's a different video altogether. So why have I just bought 100 dubia roaches when I breed my own anyway? I added new blood into my colony. Um, adding new blood stops a lot of your dubia roaches from getting uh, malformed, having problems with them. If you keep inbreeding, you're going to get shorter life expectancies. Your dubia roaches get a bit smaller. It just there's just no benefit of constantly inbreeding. So every now and then, sort of once a year, I'll do an order of a hundred and just get them chucked into the colony, rejuvenate the colony up. But I always go for the medium dubia roaches. And why do I do that? Well, if you go for your adult dubia roaches, especially if you're starting a colony, if you're going for your adult dubia roaches, you don't know how many times that adult dubia roach has actually bred before because a female dubia roach will only lay nine times throughout her entire life. She could have already laid eight times. You get it to put it into your colony, lays one and then dies off. You'll be a bit gutted, won't you? So if you can get the medium to large dubia roaches, you can then grow those dubia roaches up. You'll have a full successful pattern throughout their entire life. And that's what you want, really. So that's that. If you're in the UK and you want a good quality dubia roach, whether it's for feeding or starting a colony or just to add new blood into a colony, Buzzard Reptile's the place I go. I've banged on about it loads before, as you all know. Buzzardreptile.co.uk. Links will all be in the description. Thanks for tuning in, guys.